What's up climbers? Welcome to Yosemite National Park. I'm in the valley right now. This video is actually geared more towards my videography type friends. Today I'm testing out three audio systems. I have a DJI wireless mic setup, a GoPro setup, and a Rode mic setup. We're going to be testing all three. So let's get right into it with this DJI setup. I really like this. I used to have a Ceramonic setup. Let me show you why. This one has one receiver, two transmitters. And as you can see on this receiver, it has, it's showing two little memory cards on the side. This is because the, the transmitters, these two transmitters actually save audio, which is like crucial. I, my Ceramonic one time came loose on my phone. I'm recording this on the phone and the, re the receiver is attached to the phone picking up my audio. And if that came loose, which happened on my Ceramonic one time, the audio is trash. It's gone because there's nothing on the Ceramonic that saves the audio file. This one, I'm actually getting the files saved here. The whole point is if that gets disconnected, then I have to take this and put it into editing software and sync the audio. Having it go directly to the phone from a transmitter to a receiver, the audio is already synced. It's saved directly to the file. So that saves editing time, which is awesome. So we have that. We have two transmitters. Also, as well, the wind sock on this, which you need. If there's any slight breeze coming by, we're going to be picking up wind noise. If this thing doesn't have a wind sock on, the audio is going to suck. The Ceramonic is just like a tiny little wind sock that kind of just sits on the, the top of the transmitter. This one, it's the best one I've seen, I've ran into so far. The wind sock clicks on and twist locks. Bomber. Okay, so that is the DJI system. It also has this neat little charging case and it also has two ways to plug it into your phone. It has I don't know, this is like a USB-C, I think it's called, and then it has that, the Apple product one. I'm not even sure what the technical name on that thing is. You can leave it in the comments. So let's do some climbing, and I'll talk into the mic while I climb with this transmitter. I'll disconnect that, and we'll just do just the road mic on the phone. And then we'll see what the audio is like and the video is like just on this GoPro. With the GoPro, I can see it's got something to pick up audio here. There's no way to add a windsock. It's right under the camera. There's no way to plug in, from what I could tell, plug in an external audio system like this DJI system. There's no way to pick up transmit. So you'd have to have something like, let's say, an audio, an ex whole external audio system, plug in the video and audio file and edit it together if you want actual crisp audio with a GoPro. But we'll see what the audio is like just raw right into it. All right, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we're climbing something super simple and easy. After making all my YouTube videos, I'd like to think that I've come to know a little bit about making videos and what it takes with the audio and video quality. So I'm happy to share that in this episode with you guys and let you know what my findings were. And I've come to the conclusion that cell phones are the way to go. They're super easy to charge, they're really accessible, and they're really manageable, and they shoot in 4K. How can you beat that? So, so anyway, what I found for stabilization with the phones is the stability has gotten super duper good, but I also have a Ronin gimbal that I connect my phone into for, for like walking and around doing when I do gym reviews and things like that. But I've definitely upgraded, I'd say this DJI thing is definitely an upgrade. The GoPro, when it comes to GoPros and why you need a GoPro is because when I'm climbing like this, you're not getting, you're not able to see where my hands are going, what these handholds look like. That's where the GoPro would come in and I could swing it around and I could attach it to my head, except the audio is just gonna be, from what I think, garbage. So that's where this other thing comes into. So if you wanted to get good audio, I'd imagine with a GoPro, you'd have to have a whole different 
audio recording device. It was pretty funny. Um, over in, uh, in Camp 4, people were working on a boulder, like about 15 people working on a boulder problem, and nobody seemed to be able to get to the top. And I kind of walked over with my boots on, <laughs> and I, I said, can I, can I, can I get a try? And they're like, yeah, sure. And then I just kind of like flashed it, and they went, oh, that's probably a, probably just some pro climber. So just ignore him. <laughs> and then I walked away. It was pretty funny. So right now, this is still the recording with the DJI. This is the recording with the GoPro, just the GoPro audio. And now I gotta plug in the road bike and do some talking like that and see what that's like. I uh, may as well take you on a little walk around Yosemite since we're here. This is the audio coming in from the road mic facing me in like selfie mode. Selfie mode. And no stabilization added to the phone, just walking around. Stabilization is pretty good with these cameras now as long as you're careful. So this is what the audio is like. Let's head over to a boulder problem. And I'll just uh, leave the road mic maybe 10 feet away and we'll check out what the audio is like with that. So just gotta find a boulder problem, which uh, shouldn't be too difficult here in Yosemite. Yosemite's got a lot of wildlife. There's a coyote. Just taking a stroll down there. Okay, so this is gonna be with the shotgun mic about 10 feet away, as you're gonna see. It'll be a little bit audio is going to get a little worse as I get close, but this is kind of a special case because my voice might bounce off the rock and back in. With a shotgun mic, you don't get as much of an ambient noise as a direct noise, so you have to be talking directly into the, to the microphone. So I'm standing over here, and another thing is, it's not what's nice about this road mic, is just like the external recorder, that is going directly into the audio. However, if that little dongle isn't plugged, then we're not getting any audio. We'll just be getting this audio, which is just the phone microphone. This is the phone's microphone recording me. So you don't want this kind of audio, especially if it's windy. So let's see what this Another thing is you're not gonna be able to see exactly what I'm touching, which is why another reason why a GoPro is nice. You have to speak up really loudly and obnoxiously when you have a road mic like that. Of course, you gotta dry off your shoes. Get all the dirt off your shoes. You'd have to bring the phone over here to see what I'm doing. Should have chalked up. Oh, there's nothing here. Ugh. Little nobbles. Nice little flash. Question is how to get down to get up. It's usually an easier route to get down on the other side. All right, so let's see get down. Hope this video helped your audio choice and uh, I'm happy to share my experience. If you're into climbing or you need a climbing guy, well, I'm your guy. Subscribe. I'm looking to do maybe something big here in Yosemite. 
but I'm not really geared up for it. Don't have the gear with me, so just be climbing around, having fun, take a little bit of vacation. Thanks for sharing your time with me, and let me know what you think about this video and what kind of audio you use. Leave it down in the description below, and Josh Perry climbing out of here.